Right, guys, this is a mangrove snapper. He was about uh, 13 inches. I'm gonna show you today how to fillet him. I caught this guy right before storm, uh, tropical storm Gordon. About to make landfall around this area. I'm gonna show you how I fillet this mangrove snapper. You pretty much flame like any other fish. Find out where the head meets in. Find a soft spot which is right behind his fin. And you kind of want to make an angle towards his head, like so. Make sure you always have a sharp knife. Oh no, my bad. Now, after this, you kind of want to angle your net knife towards his tail and cut along his backbone. Not too deep. All the way down. See, see how I'm right next to his backbone? Now you can lift this up. Make sure you get these scales off your knife. Now you can lift this up. Angle your knife kind of angle down. And make sure you hear that bone knife along that rib cage. Not his rib cage, but his backbone. All the way down. See once you get past his backbone, you kinda wanna punch your knife down at an angle. So you don't miss that knife right behind his backbone. You can go ahead and poke it all the way through by his tail. Angle it down. You go ahead and cut it up. That way you can get a full view of where you're cutting it at. Let's go all the way down. Now this usually doesn't take this long. I'm just doing this for demonstration purpose. Now here's his uh his rib cage right here. I just like to cut along it. No point of cutting through it and doling your knife out. Let's go ahead and cut along it. Make sure you don't punch, puncture your stomach. And one more rib cage right here. And as you there you go. Nice mango snapper fillet. Now take a look here. You take your knife. You hear that? That means there's hardly no meat left on. All you see is his backbone. That's not how you know you got a good fillet. Skin this thing out is pretty much the same way. You do any other fish. Get your knife at an angle. Hold on. Get your nice grip on it. Let your knife do the work. Are you guys a skin lift? Nice fillet. Find the pin bones. There's some. I always use some right in the middle of the meat. There's a little bit of rib rib bones right here. So we'll cut that out. Make sure you feel for some pin bones. There might be a little bit right here. Not too much. There you go. Here's your boneless fillet. A mango snapper. Now on the other side, you do the same way that way. That's the way I like to do it to get the most meat. But a lot of people just like to cut and go all the way down. By doing that, you waste a lot of meat, in my opinion. So I'm gonna show you. Here, you they angle the knife down like this. They bring the fillet. Okay. 
Which is a quick and easy way to do if you have a ton of fish. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice skin display, low meat. But if actually, if you look, compare this side to the side I did, the way I like to do it, you can tell there's a little bit of waste there, which ain't much. But when I keep a fish, I don't like to waste no meat. And that's how I filleted a mangrove snapper. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So hello, don't you know?